five tips about noise reduction coming up. The first thing to remember is that everything starts from a properly exposed photograph or a file or image or whatever you want to call it. The reason is that when you have a properly exposed image, then you will have less visible noise in your images. But if you do un underexpose too much and you need to lift up the shadows, you will reveal some noise while opening up the shadows. So always remember to have a properly exposed image. And that's why I personally use ETTR. Use in-camera noise reduction. Most modern digital cameras have some kind of noise reduction built in. It's a feature that you can turn on and off. In Olympus there are two different options. The first one is noise filter. It will reduce noise in high ISO images. The manual does not say what is considered high ISO. I personally have this off and will use other methods if necessary. I will tell what those are in later in this video. And you can choose three levels, low, standard and high. The second one is noise reduction. It also has three levels. If it is on, it will reduce noise on all images. If it's on auto, it will reduce noise if the shutter speed has been four seconds or longer. And off is of course off. It does not do any noise reduction. I tend to have this on auto. I think it's the most convenient. But sometimes I have it off if I don't want the noise reduction to be done inside camera because as I said I have a different method which I will tell later in this video. Use as low ISO as possible and of course this is quite obvious. The lower the ISO is the less noise there is visible. And don't forget to use low ISO. It will give you a bit more clean image than the base ISO, in, at least in Olympus cameras. The base ISO is uh, ISO 200 and then there is an option for low ISO. Some cameras have ISO 64 and ISO 100 and some have only ISO 64. The only downside on using the low ISO is that it will reduce the dynamic range. And I do have a video about low ISO, so if you are not familiar with low ISO and how to use it, then check out that video after you have watched this. But let's continue to the next one. And tip number four, shoot raw. JPEG is a compressed format and it will make the noise even worse on your images. When it comp compresses the file size, it always and also compresses the noise too. So always shoot raw. Raw is a much cleaner image format. And after the fifth tip, I will talk about noise reduction in general. Do we have to do it? Why is it important or is it important at all? And is noise always bad when you have, the, when you have them on your images? And of course, then after that, I will also have a extra tip with a nice little hack that might help you to get rid of noise in your images. And a fifth tip, use software to reduce noise. Lightroom does a very good job. I sometimes use it if, if the noise is not that uh, visible or it doesn't bother me, then Lightroom is fine. But if I use older cameras, for example, or really high ISO, then I use DxO Pure Raw. The other one that I have used also is Topaz Denoise AI, but I have found that DxO has a bit better uh, quality or the results are more pleasing for my eye, but their difference isn't really big and it's more of a subjective, subjective uh, view if, if, if Topaz is better or not, because Topaz Denoise AI has been getting better and better all the time. So they are really, really close. So it's more of a matter of taste, like I said. And both of these have uh, trial versions so you can test them and see which, which one is better for you. I will put links in the description of this video for those softwares if you're interested in using those. And here is an example that I took with my ZX2, my new Olympus Compact camera with ISO 1600. And here is a comparison what it does look before and after noise reduction. And I used DxO Pure Raw for this. And one reason I got the camera is that because Pure Raw has profiles for this particular camera. And I think that's one really important thing when choosing an older camera. Check out if the noise reduction software works for it because it will make the camera a lot, lot better. Because of course, a small sensor, nine-year-old camera, not the best high ISO performance, but with DxO Pure Raw, it's totally fine and really usable also with high ISO. But let's continue with the topic of this video. 
And then why reduce noise? The funny thing is that we think that all noise is always bad. We need totally clean images, but that only a new thing in digital era because films used to have grain. And of course, grain and noise is a bit different. But also we have to remember that sometimes noise might be a good thing in a photograph. And uh, I personally uh, reduce noise very little because I don't really care about noise that much because it gives character to the images sometimes. But if we need to reduce noise, I always start with color noise because I think that's uh, uglier than luminance noise. I think the luminance noise in Olympus cameras isn't really that bad, but color noise sometimes can be really, really bad. So reducing color noise is a lot better. Here's an image with the ZX2. Here you can see how it is in Lightroom when I reduce color noise looks pretty nice and then color noise off adjusting the luminance noise and you still see the color noise which is is uglier so I would start with color noise and then if you don't like the luminance noise then reduce that a bit and that way your images will look look uh, a lot better and this was in, in Lightroom if you use other softwares then the workflow might be a bit different but I do have videos about Topaz, Denoise AI and DxO Mark II and or DxO, DxO Pure Raw and I will link those videos also in the description of this video so you can check them out. But uh, we have to uh, remember that not always noise is bad. It might give you some character to, the, to your images and make them more pleasing and kind of like have that a bit of a retro feeling. But of course it depends on how the noise looks on your images especially in black and white, a, a little noise might be might be really nice. And then the extra tip, image stacking will reduce noise. Using special features like high-res mode, HDR and multiple exposure or multiple images, double exposure will reduce some noise because when you stack images, it will make the image look better because noise is also random. You, you don't have the, let's say like the color noise, it's, a, it's a, in a different place in different images. And, uh, and when stacking image it, it will kind of blend them together and the noise is not that visible. And high res image, for example, is a very, very good way of reducing noise too. So if you need to use really high ISO in some, some uh, situations, then using the high res shot in Olympus cameras will reduce noise because it stacks images by you know, uh, moving this the center and, and taking uh, separ uh, uh, several images and then blend them together, which is also stacking the images together. And HDR is the same thing. It will have a, a bit of a different uh, exposures and it will also make the dynamic range higher, but it will reduce a bit noise. And then the third option is multiple exposure, which will do so that you can uh, make really interesting images uh, by blending two images together, they can be totally different and make, make some kind of a texture on your image by, you know, making an image of a concrete wall and then something else and you could blend them together and, and you will have texture in the image. But it can also work as a noise reduction thing or feature. Just have the camera on a tripod and have the stabilizer off because the stabilizer might move between the shots and, and they might not be totally aligned. Then you will choose uh, multiple exposure. Unfortunately, in Olympus cameras, you can only choose two images and that will not reduce noise that much. But there is a workaround. Use the overlay on your third image and take a third multiple shot image on that. Then you will reduce noise quite a bit. I know this is not a very convenient way of reducing noise, but it can be done. It's a bit awkward workflow, but it works. I hope this video was helpful and here is some more videos for you to watch. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.